Hi. Welcome to Football World at Rumasports. Kindly subscribe and turn on the bell icon to get notifications. After numerous long stretches of jabber and hypothesis Gareth Southgate has at last named his 26-man squad for the 2022 World Cup. Presently starts the 11 days of hypothesis and talk about his choices before England's initial game against Iran. There were two or three astonishment incorporations and maybe a couple of players who can feel hard finished by at their rejection. Was calling James Madison the ideal choice? Short response, yes. Madison has 10 goal involvements this season in the Premier League, the main England player to have more is Harry Kane. Buke Osaka and Ivan Tony both additionally have 10. Southgate's persistent obliviousness of Madison case was downright bizarre, regardless of the various elements that are associated with international administration. In any case, football tournament is an alternate monster to nations league games or qualification. Here, distinction producers are a higher priority than in any steadily setting, Madison is one of England's best contrast creators. Except if you figure he will totally disturb the gathering, and there are no reports to propose that is the situation, you need to incorporate Madison. That Southgate did is the right call, the Leicester City man could be a vital choice off the seat, either in close games against difficult rivals, or when England need a flash while following. Two of the huge names to be left out almost immediately were Fikeo Tamori and Tammy Abraham, of AC Milan and as Roma separately. Both had worked their way back into conflict thanks to their performances in Italy, regardless of whether it required some investment for Southgate to remember them. Be that as it may, he has dropped both for the World Cup. Furthermore, watching Abraham this season and say that the choice is unjustified is hard not. He has only three goals in 14 Serie A appearances this season and has botched a few opportunities he totally would have covered. With Callum Wilson in great form for Newcastle United, it was a really coherent call. I'm not completely certain you can express that about the Tamori choice in any case. Tamori has been a disclosure in Italy, and given the shortcoming of the situation for England, maybe he would go. Be that as it may, Southgate has chosen to go somewhere else with Conor Cody and the hybrid choice of Ben White. With Cody and Harry Maguire Southgate is obviously going with players he knows. Ideally he hasn't settled on the choice in view of the performance against Chelsea on the grounds that that red card was unforgiving on Tamori, and he has played some superb football in exceptionally defining moments beside that conflict. Southgate said at his question and answer session that he didn't consider that any of the young centre-backs had done what's necessary to have the spot a portion of the more seasoned ones. I most likely differ however that is the reason he gets compensated truckloads of money. So anything formation Southgate chooses to play Kane will be through the center, with two going after players either side of him. That is valid in a 3-4-3 or a 4-3-3. So who should those players be? The office holders are Raheem Sterling and Phil Foden. They have played there a great deal, and Southgate plainly prefers how they play with Kane, the former specifically has a great comprehension with the Tottenham man. Yet, Sterling is likewise battling for form a little, and Saka has been playing brilliantly for a weapons store group that are top of the league. More so than elsewhere on the pitch this position might provide us with the best sign of Southgate's inclination between form or experience. On form Saka ought to presumably begin, yet there's a decent opportunity he will not. Jack Grealish and Marcus Rashford are different choices, yet both may be inclined toward by Southgate as choices off the seat. Grealish specifically is an outright bad dream for tiring fullbacks to think about, regardless of whether he can at times take a little to get into games. The other choice is utilizing Mason Mount or Madison more extensive, yet that appears to be impossible. It merits pausing for a minute to make reference to Ivan Tony and Gerard Bowen here. One player who might have backed up Kane, and another who might have flanked him. With Tony, it turns into a straight shootout among him and Callum Wilson. I figure you can most likely pose the case one way or the other, yet Tony's goal scoring and penalty. Record positively justified a look, and you'd envision he will be the main call in the event that Wilson or Kane get harmed. For Bowen he is one more who has most likely been let somewhere near not being one of Southgate's confided in bunch, as well as the adaptability of a portion of different players. Thanks for watching.
Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notifications. Please like, comment and share. See you next time. Bye for now.